Hello everybody, I am Jarrett Ross, a genie vlogger, and welcome back to another Professional Genealogist Reacts. On today's video, I'll be reacting to Irish People Take a DNA Test by Fax. Now this is a channel that I watched a lot. Now the channel is uh, the Tri Channel, and um, I, you know, it's basically a bunch of Irish people who do different videos. The videos that I would watch would be a lot of their Irish People Try videos. Um, so, uh, I'm really actually looking forward to this video. I may have actually seen it because this is from June 12th, 2017. And if I did see it, I don't remember, but that was, you know, I was watching their videos all the time back then. So, um, wouldn't be surprised if it somewhat seems familiar, but because they're all Irish, I'm basically going to be expecting, you know, a lot of British Isles, Irish, obviously, uh, Scottish, um, I know all the companies break these down just a little differently, and even those companies have changed those results slightly, um, so, like, I know, you know, Wales and Britain and, uh, Ireland, I think, are sometimes lumped together, but basically it's gonna be some British Isles, definitely won't be surprised to see any of them with, like, French and German, Definitely wouldn't be surprised to see any Scandinavian. Um, very possible that some of them may have other bits of European, you know, Iberian, Southern European, Mediterranean. Um, just because so many population groups have gone, you know, through Great Britain and through the, all different areas of Europe. So there could be a lot of mixing. I wouldn't be surprised if a few of them are basically 100%, you know, British Isles or 100% whatever that is defined as. Um, it would be interesting to see if any of them have anything outside of Europe. Um, I very, I'm very doubtful any Native American will turn up. Possible there could be some Asian in there. Um, possible that there could be, uh, you know, I guess African or uh, Middle Eastern or something like that. Um, yeah, I mean, I, there's all sorts of things that could be in there. I could probably list off the entire world, but it, it'll be interesting to see what there is. But before we jump into the video, please be sure to give this a thumbs up. It really does help me out. Also, be sure to subscribe and click that bell for notifications on future videos. And if you'd like to get early access to some of these videos or get extra content, you can join my Patreon and there's all sorts of stuff that you'll get from that. But now that all of that's been said, let's go ahead and jump right into the video. I am doing a DNA test. I don't know if it's a paternity test or what, but I'm doing something. <laughs> Oh, is it just going to be him? I, I was assuming it would probably be a few of them, but this video is only five minutes. I assume okay, it's going to be mainly like South Asian, seeing as my mom's in Okay, Britain. yeah. She'll be different, much different than the predictions I made, because the predictions I made were based on anyone who was full Irish. Um, and I get... I, I, yeah, I did. I forgot everyone who's on the channel. My granny was from Mayo, but she was a, a Costello and she was very sallow skinned, so I presume there's Spanish blood there. And then my granddad was from Cyprus. And then my other grandparents were both dubs. I fit into the Irish uh, physical stereotype, I think. I've always felt kind of unexotic, and I'd love to find out if there's a little bit of exoticism in me. Ooh, Exoticism. Cool oh, my heritage. I it'd be like a cup. You know, a lot of videos are often um, sponsored by 23andMe, so it's nice to see some of the other ones, like my heritage, getting in the mix. Video. I get the packaging because it's like unlocking your genes. Get it? Open the kit test and lay out the unopened swabs and vials on a clean surface. This table's been through the wars over the years. Has it been cleaned? I didn't do science <laughs> in school. I only did it for a year. So this is all the experiments I missed out on doing. Schwabs for Schwaben. Vials of unknown liquid. I swab this around mm -hmm. and then I plunge it into this thing and then... And it snaps off. Yeah, it's like a tampon. I don't swab an awful lot, actually. I don't know what it is to swab. It's not a verb we use a lot. I wonder if my left cheek is like half Japanese and my right cheek is like half... 
My mom's going to be at home watching this going, oh no, he's going to find out. This mm. is actually really exciting. Bet you they don't. Actually, this is all a gimmick and they're taking these off to clone people. That's my DNA in a bag. Well, <laughs> I have heard people with that whole clone thing before, like, they're going to try to clone you, aren't they? If someone really wanted to clone you that bad, they could, you know, follow you and wait for you to leave enough DNA somewhere to, you know, do that. Whether it's like a fork or a straw or something I like have that. It. Be careful, I could have germs. Yeah, look, I know you didn't ask for semen sample, but I prepared my own. I feel like there's this little part of me in there. Oh, I'm a little bit apprehensive that I might find there's something in there that surprises me. But that's also the, the joy of doing this. Yeah. Also, they might tell me I'm sick, and that's the real worry. <laughs> I'm really nervous. I don't know why. I just am. I'd love to have a bit of like something mad in me, like West Indies. I'd be like, yeah. I've been kind of haunted that I might be English. Laura <laughs> is. <laughs> okay, British and Irish. <laughs> As I suspected. Iberian. Ooh, Spanish. 10%. East European. Cool. Interesting. And... Jewish! Ashkenazi yes! Jewish. John is itself. All right, 75% British and Irish. 9% Italian. Eh, que forza. 8% Iberian, what's that mean? Spanish. 4% Middle Eastern. No. And 2% other. That means like half horse. <laughs> Italian is great. 94.6% British and Irish. Would you say Irish? A bit Jewish. A bit Eastern European. Uh, what am I? 84.2% South Asian. Oh, really? I wouldn't have got... Hey, Ash Jewish? They, they all got Ashkenazi Jewish. Very interesting. That's mad. And Eastern European. I'm very confused. There's a bit Irish in me. <laughs> I'm part Amazonian. Oh my god, that's unreal. Oh, I knew there was a, a bit of Jew in me. So All right, so looking so 80.1% British and Irish, typical. 10% Iberian, 10% would be about the equivalent of maybe a great grandparent. So that would be a great grandparent of hers that was 100% you know, Portuguese or Spanish, Iberian, 5.6% um, East European and 4.3% Ashkenazi Jewish. That's pretty interesting. Um, I wonder where that would be coming from. See, you know, one of the fun things too is I guess, you know, with anyone's DNA test, especially if they likely have their parents around, it's like, well, what are their parents' results? Because that can really tell you too, a bigger part of the story just because they're only getting 50% of what their parents get. So, um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, it, it's still pretty interesting. And, you know, with 4.3% Ashkenazi Jewish, although all of them got right around four or 5%. Um, now one thing I will say with my heritage is they don't release a DNA white paper. Um, so they don't really give any precision or recall numbers, uh, which some of the other companies do. And that can tell you how reliable, well, I hate using that word, but in a sense, it kind of tells you how reliable each population group reading is. So sometimes certain population groups are a lot harder to read and catch than others. Um, so like French and German is notorious because they're really it's really hard to decipher that it's very common with a lot of other population groups and so the precision and recall numbers the numbers that tell you how you know how well it's reliable in a sense they they're kind of lower um so yeah so i'd be you know it would be interesting to see those numbers for eastern european and ashkenazi jewish to see you know how possible is that but assuming that each one comes from a specific ancestor that was 100%, the most recent being 100%, um, someone 4.3% Ashkenazi Jewish, that'd be like a second great-grandparent, third great-grandparent, could even be a great-grandparent because with recombination being so random, it's possible to inherit that small even if it's from a great-grandparent. Um, so yeah, so let's continue. Somewhere I should start eating everything kosher. 
So she has 5.7% Ashkenazi Jewish. Same thing, second great-grandparent, third, or possibly a first great-grandparent. Could be something else, too, but that's just about... Um, but interesting to see that Ashkenazi Jewish, she also has East European, British and Irish, and then indigenous Amazonian, 0.8%. That one's really, really interesting. Um, I'd be interested to see her family tree and if there's anything that points to someone from her family having come from the Americas. Um, cause uh, 0.8% indigenous Amazonian. That's and not cool. just Halal. The one thing that I was banking on was like the Greek area. And I know. Okay, so his set, he had predicted that he would have had, uh, I think, Spanish, he'd said. Um, so 8.6%, kind of, you know, great grandparent, second great grandparent, Iberian, 9.2% um, Italian, basically the same thing. Um, 75.7% British and Irish, and then 4.2% Middle Eastern, and 2.3% other. Um, you know, one interesting thing about this would be, you know, if he does his family tree, something like this, he could find that, you know, that a majority of the non-British and Irish is actually coming from one grandparent, because... He has 75.7% British and Irish, so that would be equate to three of his, you know, three quarters of his, his DNA, so one quarter left, one quarter would be equivalent to a grandparent, so be kind of interesting to see if that's the case i i doubt that would be um my guess is is that you know a lot of the other parts other than the british and irish are coming from both of his parents um but i could be wrong that's kind of just based on what i've seen with most of these tests we've got turkey azerbaijan uh iran Syria, Iraq, Kuwait. Oh no, Donald Trump's not gonna let me in America anymore. Like obviously, like my parents are like Asian, but where did those little little bits come from? So it's obviously like probably far back. I'm glad that I have other bits in me though. That is a really nice surprise. I was like, it's gonna be 102 percent Irish. Boring. <laughs> Belarus, Lithuania, Poland, Ukraine. Like, that area I would never have known about. And I'm partly Irish, which makes me really happy. <laughs> yeah, I'm delighted with that, to be honest. Because um, I love Ireland. <laughs> and I love being from Ireland. I'm probably going to drink more, um, now that I know I'm that Irish. I mean, Jews are the best comedians, yeah. so... What can I say, <laughs> Americans are like, oh, I'm part Latina, I'm part Native American, I'm part German, uh, Scottish, and Hungarian, and you're like, what the way? But I can now understand, like, everyone's made up of a big melting pot. Yeah. Look. All right. Well, that was quite enjoyable. I always enjoy their channel, honestly. Um, the readings were kind of right around what I thought. I, it was interesting to see all of them had Ashkenazi Jewish. Um, so I don't know. I will say I know that I have heard from people through, you know, in different forums, especially comments on videos and stuff that, you know, there are some people that really think my heritage has terrible results for their admixtures. And then a lot of others who think that they have the best results. Um, but in all honesty, I guess that's pretty much for most every company. And then I think a lot of the professionals like myself kind of view all of them about about equal. You know, they both give you a picture and, you know, some may be more reliable than others for certain population groups. Um, but with this, it was uh, it was interesting to see that consistent 5% about Ashkenazi Jewish Um now, one interesting thing about that is that in my own family, I actually have a DNA connection to, um, I guess you could just say the UK, because um, I think it includes Ireland and Britain, but my my maternal haplogroup is H1AI1. And when looking at the ma the majority of matches on that, they're either other people with Jewish ancestry or they're people where they have only known uh, Irish or English ancestry. So, to, you know, to me that th there could be a couple of possibilities for why that happened. I, I usually think that it could either mostly be that, you know, either someone who, you know, a woman who was Jewish married a man who was British or Irish, 
immigrated to Britain and Ireland, and then a whole lot of people then now have that maternal haplogroup through her descendants, or the opposite way, where maybe someone went from Ireland, or, you know, Britain, or wherever, to Eastern European and married, a, you know, a Jewish man, and, you know, so, no, I, I don't know maternal haplogroups super in depth because for you know they're useful but not super useful genealogically they're more of kind of like a distance thing so you know i'm not 100 percent sure on that but it's kind of interesting knowing that and then seeing that all of these people who are in ireland um and have some irish roots although except for the girl who was mostly south asian i don't think she really had much british and irish um they all had ashkenazi jewish so you know, maybe there is some sort of connection, you know, something something that I'm not sure about. As usual, it would have been really cool to see a bit more of the genealogy. I always would love it if people kind of talked about what they're, you know, what they do know about their ancestry, like a bit more in depth than, you know, oh, a grandparent from here and a grandparent maybe from there. And that's all I know. Um, you know, it'd be kind of cool to hear, you know, well, I, you know no, they were born here, or this family trace is there, or I don't know, I always want more genealogically anyway, <laughs> but um, it would be interesting just to see if they did genealogy, I would love it if, if I could get in touch with this channel and do a genealogy, you know, do their genealogy, I've actually reached out to all sorts of YouTubers trying that, so if you have any YouTubers in mind that you'd like to see me do their genealogy, Either comment down below and tell me, or even better, message them and tell them that you want to see, you know, see them on my channel. So, I, I, it'd be interesting to do their genealogy and then compare that genealogy to the DNA, kind of like what I did in my own video. Well, thank you so much for checking out this video. If you enjoyed, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. It really does help me out. You can also click right about here if you'd like to subscribe. It's completely free to do so. You can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram at Genie Vlogger. I'm the Genie Vlogger. I'll see you in my next video.